Sweatshops have been a huge issue in many countries around the world for years. Large companies want to use sweatshops because they save a lot of money on labor when using them. This gives the company the most amount of profit possible. The citizens of Nicaragua, particularly women and children, are put through some very intense situations in order to make little money to provide for their families back at home. The article titled Labor, Sweatshops, and CAFTA in Nicaragua was a very informative piece that showed what this large sweatshop was like from an outsider's perspective. Steve Watrous, the author of this article, describes in detail what he saw and experienced firsthand. The other article titled Activists Allege Coles Others Use Sweatshops from ABC News provides great insight on what it was truly like to work in this environment and provided statements from large corporations who use these factories. These challenging situations became a daily reality for so many women and children for many reasons. This became a norm in Nicaragua because large corporations enabled it to do so and made people so heavily dependent on these low paying jobs in horrible conditions. Sweatshops are known for their horrible treatment of their employees. These employees often find themselves in very dangerous work conditions and working long hours every day for extremely low pay. The people that you would typically see working in sweatshops are young children and women because they are the most vulnerable. In the article, Labor, Sweatshops, and CAFTA in Nicaragua, Steve Watrous, the author, went to the free trade zone in Mangua, Nicaragua, which is where he saw over 800 people working on making jeans for the large brand called Wrangler. Upon arrival, Watchers noticed that it was extremely hot and miserable conditions for the workers to be in. The Nicaragua workers are faced with not many options but to work in sweatshops. Work is very limited in this area and many people are searching for jobs. Therefore, these people take whatever jobs they can get. They need money and they are willing to work in whatever conditions to provide for their family. Nicaragua is known as the poorest country in all of Central America, and the people there are desperate and depend on jobs like these to provide for their families. This has become such a daily reality and a repetitive cycle for generation after generation because these huge corporations allow for this to continue. These corporations solely care about their profits and don't care about the conditions of their workers as long as the labor is cheap. The employees of these clothing factories are hardly paid compared to the amount of money these corporations are making off them and the products they are producing. The labor that the people in Nicaragua are providing is very cheap and solely beneficial to the company. It was discovered that no employer in Nicaragua pays their employees a livable wage. An example of this is one woman worker with 17 years of seniority is making about $200 a month. It is heartbreaking to discover that a woman who has endured so much and has worked so hard for 17 years for this factory doesn't even make enough to live off of. It is embarrassing for these huge corporations to use these people in such an inhumane way. Another huge issue is that the workers of this clothing factory face is that the lack of protection and how little their supervisors care about their health and wellness. The workers at this factory in Nicaragua are supposed to be wearing face coverings to protect themselves from dust particles that could harm them, but because their work conditions are so hot and uncomfortable, everyone chooses not to wear the protective mask. Either way, the workers are suffering. They have to make the hard decision between wearing that mask and being extremely hot or inhale dust that could give them pneumonia and other harmful illnesses. Workers shouldn't have to sacrifice their health and safety for their comfort in their workplace. One connection that can be made from the topic of sweatshops in Nicaragua is the topic of globalization. Large companies such as Kohl's, Wrangler, and Kmart have all used sweatshops at some point. The high demand from countries around the world for cheap labor is what gives so many people the opportunity to become involved in this trade. The clothing laborers don't get paid near sufficient enough for the amount of work they do and the conditions they are working in. Globalization has made it possible for this to become such a daily reality for so many people. According to the ABC News article, the Nicaraguan woman recently worked for a sweatshop in her homeland that she says mistreated her and her fellow workers. After she tried to help form a union, she alleges she was fired. There should never be a workplace in which someone speaks out about an issue, they are punished for it and lose their job over it. This is extremely unethical and just proves how horrible the people are that are in charge of these sweatshops. All the companies that were put in the headlines for using sweatshops, of course, denied any of the allegations they were facing. They all claimed that none of them had ever seen any poor treatment or unethical conduct happening any of the times they performed their inspections, but said they would follow up on these reports. The women and young children in Nicaragua go through the utmost challenges throughout their daily lives and in their workplace. These people do everything they possibly can to provide at least something for their families, although it may not be much. They are faced with so many challenges at home, having to deal with poverty and also at work with the horrible conditions and dangers present. Globalization is a large factor here and plays a huge role in why this has become such a norm in so many countries, especially ones that are dealing with extreme poverty. 
People who are desperate to make ends meet will do whatever it takes to support their families.